You know, I think it's not just the fact that the website ecosystem feels broken from the platform to the process to the handoff, but it's also feeling really stale. And I think uh, people are excited about getting some new website building behaviors, and that's what the .com is really bringing to the table. GitHub really paved the way to show that you didn't have to do work twice. And so that really hasn't been available to non-engineers and especially for front end. There's all these bricklayers to the internet, all these people who've been working on it behind the scenes and these people all deserve to have a little bit of recognition. I think it's gonna be a fun era to see who's contributing to what sites. There's GitHub for engineers. They can take pieces of code, fork those chunks of code off and then start using those from scratch. Uh, with the .com, we really are creating that for the front end and for marketing websites. In theory, with Web3, everything's ownable. So in the .com, we made it so that you can track that ownership of the pieces that you work on. As community members build blocks on the .com, what we're able to do is kind of flip the script. Instead of us coming out with a bunch of themes and templates like every other website builder's done, you know, we get to kind of move into the background and the community builds the blocks that they actually need to use for their customers. The other community members get to benefit from that. So it's a completely different approach. So the .com, we are introducing this concept of blocks. We, we decided we wanted people to be able to take their full sites, break them into the individual sections and be able to add those into the marketplace and make money from those. So you can really think of blocks as like very small sections of websites. It can be all the way down to an individual link or button, all the way up to technically an entire page. We can do that because we built in this new type of framework around HTML and CSS that's shaped like a spreadsheet or a grid system. I think the exciting thing about ownership on the web is that it hasn't existed before. And to date, the only thing you could have owned is a domain name. It allows people to really get good at the basic building blocks of, of websites, which really are just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then there's some really cool things that we're working on in the future that will allow people to build with blocks even easier than they do today, but share them 10 times easier as well. So.